is going to Judge. want to be a shark in this one. Judge. But McDaniel will definitely try to be the fishing net. Judge. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Let's go! We're underway, the two touch gloves. Revisiting the Cold War mixed martial arts style Shlomenko into McDaniel's clinch and the bigger, lankier. McDaniel pins Shlomenko against the fence, drops a level looking for the double leg. Off the cage! Shlomenko the holding cage. onto the cage has to be very careful. That could result in a point deduction. Looking for the standing Kimura right now as McDaniel expending energy trying to will his way to the double leg takedown, Stephen. And he's almost got it. Shlomenko going down to one knee. But Shlomenko is already grounded. All McDaniel has to do is put his back to the floor like that. Shlomenko still working the right arm, looking to pop it out, going for the Kimura. McDaniel with good patience, dropping some vicious body shots, looking for an elbow as well. Has to be careful here, however. Although Shlomenko needs to get him in the guard to really make this work, now has a loose half guard. Shlomenko's using a lot of energy on this, but I, th I think he should, uh, he should let, let it go. go now. He should He's... let it go and be sure he doesn't get mounted. He's almost mounted here. If he lets it go, he okay. Now he's got half guard. Peppering him. Here's McDaniel with those body shots. Now wrenching uh -oh. that arm. Beautiful rollover by Shlomenko, but can he capitalize? And McDaniel takes his back standing, maybe looking for a souple as the late great dean of broadcasters Gordon Sully would say, but Shlomenko still working now that Kimura standing. There's a knee that just missed by McDaniel. This is a risky proposition because if McDaniel pops that arm out, he's going to go for a choke. There it is. Driving the knee, now looking for the hook. Right in, he's got the hooks in. Shlomenko is got getting up. Got one hook in, but gets back to his feet. And that's a good move by McDaniel as well. To know that it wasn't going to happen, has that cage presence to get back to his feet and not give up that all-important positioning. Shlomenko was smart to keep his hips up high and lean forward to get out of the choke. Because basically your opponent will just slide off of you, unless he's got really strong legs. Shlomenko told us that he was concerned about the fact that McDaniel was a tall, lanky southpaw so far, causing him some problems along the fence. Again, drops down, but against the fence, it's, it's very hard as Shlomenko just drops to the ground there. We're past the midway point of round one. It's being controlled by Bubba McDaniel now from cross-side position. Watch those knees. Go, guys. Bubba's going to be guys. happy go. with the way this is unfolded because he didn't have to eat a lot of strikes standing Let's to go, get guys. it to the floor. <laughs> There's a knee from long distance. Drives it into the rib cage of Shlomenko. Shlomenko now using the fence to his advantage, looking to push himself off. Some short elbows being delivered by Bubba McDaniel. Go, guys. See, he's up. posting and then dropping the elbow. That's a beautiful move. It's at short range. It could cause a cut. North-South. Now from North-South, McDaniel looking to get back to side control. Now with the full mount and Shlomenko gives up his back. This could be dangerous. Eating all kinds of shots. Can't see where McDaniel is throwing them from. Shlomenko is in trouble here. Yes, he is. Now he's belly up. This is going to be a problem. He's got to maintain arm control to make sure that arm doesn't get in front of his throat. McDaniel very calm and methodical now with the full mount delivering some good old fashioned ground and pound. Shlomenko again surrenders his back. Into the final minute of action, a round that has been dominated by Wichita Falls, Texas native Bubba the Menace McDaniel proving to be a menace for the Russian. He's got his chin down but it's still a problem. Because if that chin goes up, even a fraction of an inch that choke's going in. Bubba lets it go. Shlomenko pops out only to eat more punches underneath. Those uppercuts under the armpit. That's, you can't even see that coming. 
Shlomenko watched the classic Pride Heavyweight Championship fight between Fyodor Emelianenko and Mirko Krokop for inspiration as he now turns into McDaniel. He's going to have to summon up some of his fellow Russians fighting spirit. And now there's a spinning back elbow and well timed by McDaniel dropping down for the shot. Shlomenko sprawls and it is a round that belonged to Bubba McDaniel as the first five minutes comes to an end. And McDaniel's hurt right at the bell. Did he get caught with that punch? Flying knee. Oh, and we saw it coming. It was a groin it shot. Like it was a, a flying shot. knee and a groin it shot, like according to the referee. Five I didn't call that. That's a groin. That's groin. It was a groin huh? shot. You can hear it. Let's just listen huh? in. Yeah. End of the round. I didn't stop it. They popped out. Are you good? I don't know. Yeah. I couldn't see if it was going or not. It's the end of the round. I never stopped it. Get up, Bubba. Get up. Get up. Come on, Bubba. Come on, let's go, Bubba. Come on. I can't, dude. Come on. Don't say it. Get up. What? Let me see. I couldn't see if it was going or not. It's not as good. No. Your ribs, right? His ribs are hurt, man. Uh, uh, One minute's up. Do you feel like I gotta stop it. Uh, referee over. is waving the fight off, and as we heard, a great job by the crew to get into the corner. The referee thought it was a great shot. They're asking him how his body feels. It seems like he took the knee to the ribs. It's gonna be a TKO win for Alexander Slamenko, who was losing that round until that Hail Mary shot. Okay, here's a couple looks at what happened. That's a flying knee right, oh, right under the heart. That's a TKO. That was a beautiful flying knee. Upper ribs, right under the heart. Right on the left pec as he threw a, a left hook at the same time. No groin shot there. That was a clean strike. Beautiful flying knee. And he needed something huge like that because he was losing that round. A very conclusive way to end a fight. That's a really sensitive area right there. Just to the side of the sternum, and that penetrates like that and, and it goes to the side. Oh, that's a lot of pain. Shot through the harsh Lomenko's to blame. He picks up a TKO victory here at the end of round one, winning his show XC debut in scintillating fashion.